What's up guys, here's Shahin. Hello and welcome to my new Photoshop tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to create a text effect where the content looks like it's made of plastic. Alright, let's start. First we open our Photoshop and create a new document by pressing Command N or Strike N or just go up here to File and click New. All right, and let's change the dimensions simple with 800 pixels in width. 600 pixels in height. All right, resolution 72, color mode RGB, and for the background color, let's choose a blue tone. Of course, it's up to you which color you want. Right here. All right, that's it. Click OK and create. There you go. Now we have our document, and first we create a text layer with the text tool that's here click and first let's change the settings first for the font i choose piece sounds regular all right for the text size let's choose 150 points and for the text color let's choose a yellow tone and i already have the color code for that and that's ffd 61A. In this case, again, it's up to you which color you want. All right, let's click OK. And these are the settings we need now. So let's click here on the middle area. All right, and let's write plastic. And click Confirm. And you see the content is not centered. And in order to do that, we first select the entire document by pressing Command A or Strike A. Or just go up here to Select and click All. Make sure the text layer is also selected and then go to the move tool. And to align it horizontal, we click this one. And to align it vertical, we click this one. All right, that's it. Now it's centered and we can abort our selection by pressing Command D or Strike D or just go up here to select and press deselect. All right. And to make this text layer look like plastic or give it a plastic surface, we have to add so-called blending options to this layer. And these blending options can be found down here. And the first effect we add is the bevel and emboss. Click. And with the settings, let's start from the top. The style inner bevel is okay like that. And uh, change the technique to chisel soft. And let's increase the depth to 500%. Direction up is okay like that. And for the size and soften, both are four pixels. All right. And for the shading, let's first uncheck use global light and change the angle to 45 degrees. The altitude is okay like that. And for the gloss contour, let's click here. We need one you should have in your default Photoshop settings, and that's that one. Ring. Right, there you see something's happening here. And check anti aliase to have a smoother culture. And for the highlight and shadow modes, let's first increase the opacity of the highlight to maximum, and that's 100%. The color white's okay like that. The blending mode is screen. And for the shadow mode, multiply is okay like that. And for the color, let's change it to a yellow tone. And for this, I have the color code DF9500. And let's select this color code by double click here and click Command C or Strike C to copy this value because we're going to need it later again. All right, let's click, go. And okay. And the blending mode multiplies, okay, like that. Just let's decrease the opacity to 20%. All right. And that's it for bevel and emboss in this layer. And now let's add the blending option in our shadow. With this effect, we make sure that the content has a very soft and rounded edge. First, let's change the blend mode to normal. And for the color, let's click here. And as I told you earlier, we, we're going to need that yellow color code again. 
So, in this case it's already selected and to paste it just press Command V or Strike V. There you go. And it has the same yellow tone we already have created earlier. And let's click OK. And increase the opacity to maximum, that's 100%. Uncheck Use Global Light and change the angle to minus 90 degrees and the distance to, let's say, one pixel because it has a very small edge and the size to three. There you go. You see it has a very slight edge here. And that's it now for the blending options of this layer. But we need actually another bevel and emboss blending option. As you can see it here on some layers, they can be duplicated, but unfortunately not that one. So how are we going to do this? We do this by first confirm it here. There you go, you see the effects we added to this layer. And now let's duplicate this layer. Just go up here to layer, duplicate layer. Okay. And now you see we've created a copy of this first layer with the same blending options we added to it. But for the second layer, we need different values and blending options. Let's first increase the value or the opacity of the interior opacity that's here where it says fill and double click and click zero and enter. There you go. This interior opacity is to make the content here transparent without making the effects we've added transparent too. Because we need these blending options we, we're going to add to this layer. But if we don't reduce the opacity of the of the fill opacity, the content is still going to overlay the content we added to the layer below. And now you see when I uncheck this here, there you go, we have all the values and the blending options we added, just the yellow area is not visible anymore. All right, let's check this here. All right, and now we change the values of the blending options of the second layer here. Let's double click here. First, we uncheck the inner shadow because we don't need this in the second layer. All right, let's go back here to bevel and emboss. And now we see we have the same settings we added earlier. But to make this content look more like plastic, we have to change some of the values here. First, let's start from the top again. Style in a bevel is okay. Just change the technique to smooth. Add the size to 22 and soften to 2. Right? And for the shading, let's change the angle to minus 55 degrees and the altitude to 40 degrees. Right? And for the gloss contour, let's click here. This time we need a gloss contour that's not in your default Photoshop settings. And that's that one. I click here. And when I click here again, there you go. Let me show you the values so you can create this gloss contour yourself. The first one here, the input 0%, output 100. And the second one here, input 25, output 100. For this in the middle, it's up to you how high you want it or in which position. But in this one here, input 46, output 44. And this, input 100, output 0. Right? And these are the values to create this gloss contour. Let's click OK. And for the highlights and shadows, let's first decrease the opacity of the highlight to 35%. And let's change the color of the shadow back to black, there you go, and change the blending mode to overlay. And let's increase the opacity to, let's say, 30%. All right, and that's it. And now let's confirm here. And now you see we have a plastic-like surface here. But we still can make this look even better by just creating an extrusion, or as you would probably call it, a 3D effect. And for that, Let's first close this here, right? And to create this extrusion or text effect, we're not going to use this 3D function here because some of the computers of people are technically not capable to render this 3D function. And on the other side too, the rendering itself takes very long. So I'm going to show you a much easier and faster way to create a 3D effect. And for that, we first select 
this layer here and hold alt and press down there you go something happened here and here too a copy of this layer has been created but in the position it went one pixel down and let's do this a few times now let's hold alt again and press down again again a few times all right now we see we have several copies of this first layer and now we have to change the arrangement of these layers because when you create an extrusion like that the arrangement of the layers are always wrong so while this is selected let's hold shift and go down here to the first copy or otherwise set the first copy above the first layer here there you go and go up here to layer arrange and reverse there you go something happened here it looks now much better and while these layers are selected, let's group them by pressing Command G or Strike G or just go up here to Layer and click Group Layers. Now you see, the layers are now in a folder and because of that, the workflow or the overlook is now much better. And let's rename this by double click here, Extrusion, right? And let's pull this below the first layer we've created. And now you see we have this edge here and to make this all look better we go to the folder now we've created and add a blending option to this folder we are either go down here again to effects or we just go here to right click and blending options here we go and we add color overlay all right let's click here and we're going to do now something we've done earlier we click here to the color plate and again paste that color code we've copied earlier. Again here double click and press command V or strike V. There you go and click OK. And change the blend mode to multiply. But maybe it's a bit too dark. So let's decrease the opacity to let's say 50%. All right, there you see the edge has now the same color as the extrusion and it now looks quite softer here and makes it look like a quite soft edge here. All right, let's click OK here and close this. All right, and that's it. Now we have our plastic text effect or plastic content because these blending options can be added to any kind of content, not only text layers. All right, I hope you enjoyed it and it helped you to become better in Photoshop, don't forget to subscribe and to check out my other tutorial videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.